in goal three, this kind of moves more to the public realm and starts talking about public improvements. And this is the statement that Kansas City should require new development or redevelopment to provide public realm improvements that could include things like streetscapes, pedestrian amenities, uh, green infrastructure, things like public plazas, gateways, and then also fountains or public art. And so right now, it's, to be fair, we can see does have some requirements for new development and redevelopment. This is more about thinking beyond standard infrastructure and about the elements that make places generally more attractive pedestrians and residents and help to create those spaces that people kind of want to spend time in, more time in. So, and these bullets are only a selection of possible improvement. These are the things that we typically heard most though in our outreach and questions from the last year and through area plans itself. When we talk about streetscape and pedestrian amenities, the picture on the left is Westport. It's things that are, you know, it's a free, it's a clear area for walking, it's providing lighting, street trees, uh, furnishings like benches and trash cans that are very, you know, also that are functional, but also help protect pedestrians from traffic. Uh, it's public and plazas, places like the, the Garvin District has something right here, gateways, neighborhood markers, and then fountains and public art. That's typically what we're talking about in this portion, in, in this question, when we say public improvements. And of course, we want to have some considerations. Uh, if we're tying these improvements to development, it, it could be sporadic then, because it, these are going to occur in places where more development occurs, right? It could impact again the cost of projects and if it is related to development there's an equity question because if it's going to be occurring in places where development's occurring most it, it won't be happening in other locations uh, doing the implementation of these improvements would support our planning goals we'd have to of course do initial analysis look for best practices and have this you know have more more communication about it i'm um, going it could impact approval times for development but it also has the potential to really improve pedestrian safety be more accessible for all of our users and residents, enhance an area's identity, and also promote sustainability. And again, the statement we're, we're saying, we're, we're looking at is Kansas City should require new development or redevelopment to provide public realm improvements that could include the streetscapes, pedestrian amenities, green infrastructure, lighting, public plazas, gateways, fountains, and public art. Now then again, this is our one to five system. So one is that no, right now our current policies are too restrictive or we already have too many requirements as part of development. Two, no, they're just right. We need to keep them the way they are. Three, okay, there we could use, we could be a little more aggressive. We could pursue some policies that, you know, get some of these elements implemented during it. Uh, four is let's try to get, find policies that help us implement most of these components. And five is also, again, pursue policies that help us implement all of these and potentially other ones. 